February 3rd might be Christmas morning or it might be D-Day based on where you put your allegiances with college football, but it's signing day. It has come and went very quickly for the Sun Devil Source, Chris Cartman. I'm Jordan Ham of Sports 360 AZ and Chris here in Tempe right now and a lot of needs that needed to be addressed. Were they able to do that with this signing class? Yeah, it's probably the strength of the class. Um, seven or eight junior college kids in the top 100. That's the best junior college class nationally. Uh, eight mid-year additions, that's more than they've ever had. Uh, really address their needs in the secondary where they got Maurice Chandler, Jamarcus Rhodes. Those are two guys that are on campus in the spring with three starting guys departing from their defensive backfield. That They're going to be really important. And then on the offensive line, you lose four starters for ASU. Uh, they got two guys who are junior college mid-year additions. Uh, A.J. McCollum's a center who's reminiscent to some degree of Nick Kelly. And then they got Tyson Rising, who's a swing guy. He could play uh, guard or tackle. Certainly, uh, they needed to get um, better pass rush uh, capability. That's Doug Suttle and then Coron Crump. Those are two guys that are going to be able to get after the, court, after the quarterback and give ASU the type of capability, capability in that regard they really want. And one thing that they needed was a, a go-to receiver. You mentioned the offensive line also helping the secondary. Seems like they were able to address all of that with in-state athletes as well. Yeah, I mean, they, they missed out on Byron Murphy, which is a, a huge guy they really wanted, but they did get Nikhil Harry, who's one of the best receivers in the country. Big physical kid, 6'3", 200-plus pounds. He's going to be able to play right away, I think. And then Chase Lucas, his teammate at Chandler, is a developmental defensive back, but one who has great athleticism and, and potential, versatile enough to play three positions probably. That's going to be a, a great thing for them. Marshall Nathy is an offensive lineman that they can bring along. He had an ACL injury, but I think the overall trend line in state is pretty good right now and looking forward now you see the big name guys all throughout this recruiting class but who are some guys that might be flying under the radar right now that could be household names a few years down the line I like their receivers other than Nikhil Harry. They got Jeremy Smith, who played quarterback for his high school in Texas. He's long, he's rangy. I think Kyle Williams is, is an explosive athlete from Southern California who's a wide receiver. Jared Bubak is a, a kid who played quarterback in Nebraska. He was either the first or second best prospect in that state, transitioning to tight end. He's already gained 20 pounds since his high school career wrapped up. He's 250 pounds, might be able to become a, a bigger version of Cody Cole. I like those three guys on the offensive side of the ball. Now in defense, I think I think uh, even though he's a junior college player and maybe it seems a little counterintuitive, Christian Hill is a guy who is a, kind of a project with a high ceiling, um, military, didn't start really playing football until he was in junior college. So I think he's, you know, really good. We mentioned Karan Crump earlier as a junior college player. Now he's highly rated, but he's young as far as physically developing. He's going to have to probably gain 20 pounds in the next couple of years. If he's able to do that, maybe he can become an every down player. Robbie Robinson is a undersized uh, corner who plays very physically and I think he has a chance to be good down the road as well. So 2016 signing day has came and went in a flash. Uh, we'll already be gearing up for 2017 here very shortly as well as spring ball for the Sun Devil Source. Chris Cartman, I'm Jordan Hammer Sports 360 AZ.